another great thing here. So we're going to close this out. All right. Is everybody good with this so far? Everybody tracking with me? Awesome. Everybody's good to go. All right. Big thing for me. Next thing we're going to talk about is the electronic portfolio and developing your electronic portfolio. Again, you're back in the documents page. Everything is pretty much done from here. All right. You're going to click on new. And like I said before, electronic portfolio, this is, this is where the wave of the future is going. This is what prospective employers want to see. They want to see you actually doing the job. They want to actually see that you have developed some form of mastery for the position that you are actually applying for. So, again, right here, we're going to click new. Okay. Choose a folder. Now, there's different portfolio templates, all right? Brandman University, and in this very particular for this student, because this is a education template, all right, for us in the MAE program, all right? When you click on it, okay, the template that comes up, you have early childhood development, an optional template, and a teaching portfolio. Those are very three different portfolios, and they have different frameworks. So if I check on early childhood development, you could look at the template on the right side, and this is what it should look like. Your personal information, the different standards that they're supposed to be, and you get to articulate as the individual what your understanding of those standards are, okay? And that is huge for the prospective employer because now they can see you know what the standard is, but how do you synthesize the information that you learn and how do you understand it yourself? Because it should never be just a regurgitation of information that you memorize. You have to be able to articulate in your own way how you understand it. So that is huge. Okay, if we go to a different template, okay, optional template, okay, it's just a little different, all right? But it has different topics right here. So again, Fantastic stuff you can see. Planning instruction and designing learning experiences for students. This really shows what a teacher knows because it just not just shows them that they understand how to develop a lesson plan, but it, it actually shows that they're taking time and thought into making that learning experience and attacking those, those different um, learning strategies that students need, all right, because pretty much teaching – and learning, they, they have to attack the strategies almost equally because everybody has a different – differentiating instruction is huge. Okay, so that actually – you can show up on that. Okay, your teaching portfolio. Okay, again, similar, but it's all designed for you. Okay, everything is designed for you. Okay, and the last portfolio here, we'll go into portfolio templates right here. Okay. You have a blank and you have a working growth portfolio. Now, I already started my working growth portfolio, okay, because, again, I want to be a university professor. So we can go straight to mine, but pretty much it's the same thing like doing anything else. You have standards here, okay, and I'm not going to uh, – I'll just create another one, um, sample electronic portfolio. Martinez. Okay, and again, same thing like you, I said before, you know, thank you for taking the time to review my electronic portfolio. Um, enclosed, you will find artifacts that show the mastery that I have developed throughout my edification journey. Something real simple. Okay, and all I'm going to do is save new document. Okay, standards. What standards? Now, for me personally, since I want to be a professor, Okay, there are certain standards for higher education. This particular framework is not set up for that. It is set up for K through 12. So let's pretend I want to be a K through 12 teacher. Okay, so we'll look at standards here. Okay, and we'll add. Okay, again, standard set. You're going to select all. Select set. Okay, now... 
there are certain things that all teachers must have, okay? And I want to say it's TPAs or TPEs that they have to know those standards. It's all part of it, okay? So we're going to go in here. All right, California Standards, TPA. All right, we'll click on that, and another box is going to pop up. What grade level? Well, what grade do I want to teach in? Let's say I want to be an elementary school teacher, so we're going to go K through 6, okay? I'm going to search that. Okay, and look at that. All the California TPAs are right there. So I'm going to pretty much select that, add the standards, okay, save and finish. And there it is in my resume. All right, it's in my electronic portfolio. Okay, now, how do I know exactly what they're seeing? Well, you have a little visitor preview button. You click on that, and this is one of the basic styles that they have. So this is exactly what the person you send it to is going to see. All right, so now they know that you know the standards. I mean, this is simple, simple, simple. Now, if you want to get fancy, all right, which you can, a lot of people do, they've even helped you out there as well, okay? They have different apply styles right here. So they have different preview styles on how you want to set up your electronic portfolio, all right? So I like this one in particular, all right? So I click on that, insert selected style, okay? and it changes your portfolio. So you can do it however you want to do it within those templates. And now when my prospective employer sees it, they'll see this portfolio here. Is everybody good with that? Everybody's golden. All right, we're gonna cover one last thing, okay? Cause we're going a little over, all right? And the last thing we're gonna cover is a resource that is within the student accounts, but it's an additional cost. Now, before I get into it, I have to give you a disclaimer that I am not trying to sell live text. I don't work for live text. I was one of those bitter students who didn't even want to get live text because I had two weeks left at Brandman. But when I saw this resource, if I were going to be a K through 12 teacher, I'd be jumping all over this. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to log out because as a student, you don't have this option, and it's called Learn 360. Has anybody heard of Learn 360 before? Besides you, Dr. Green. <laughs> no? Okay. What about you, Murph? Have you heard of Learn 360 before? Nope, I have not. <laughs> okay. Either Andrea and I have heard of it. So. Uh, okay, Learn 360 is something I just discovered um, doing this, and it is pretty much a website that is a one-stop shopping for K-12 through educators for electronic resources that they can teach almost anything. It has like 73,000 video clips and videos that they can use in conjunction with their lesson plans. So we're going to go into it real quick, and I'm going to tell you why it's a benefit for them to purchase this Now, I did my own personal research during this, all right, for the Live360. If you do not have a Brandman account, which most students pay between $98 and $128 for their live text account, to get Learn360, it costs an extra $30 for the Brandman student. Now, if you do not have a live text account and you didn't get it through Brandman, for you to set a live uh, a Learn360 account in your school, it costs, number one, for a first-time setup fee, $1,000. That's right off the top. And then they charge $0.50 cents per student that is going to use that Learn360. So if you're in high school and you're teaching six period and you have 30 to 35 students per class, do the math. I think it's more than $30. 
So to get to it right here, and this is the faculty account, you go to my account and then Learn360 Video Library. And by the way, that account is good for five years. Okay, so that is an awesome resource that teachers are going to have. So we're going to hit go. It's going to redirect us to Learn360. I think this is such an awesome website. It, it's ridiculous. All right, now, everybody can see this on their screen because I'm sharing. Okay, browser or subject area. Toss me a, a subject, please, anything that you see here. Anybody, anybody. Math. All right, so we're going to go to math. Okay, what type of math? Because it has it all. You, it's in there. Anything all the way to high school, it has it. So we'll go with calculus. You want to do calculus? We'll go to calculus. All right. And I know because my daughter's hating this class right now. Trust me. All right. So now, in calculus, the subject area. If you look, all right, it's already set up nine to twelve. All right, these are how many video clips they have for each area of calculus. So we're going to go right here. Now you have 11 different video clips that you can access as an educator. But what makes this even better, because there's more, it's not just that you get the video, okay? When you scroll all the way down to the, the bottom of the page, all right, it doesn't matter what state you're in because they're going to align the videos that you need to teach with the particular state that you're in. So you just click on state standards. All right. We're in California. That's where we're set up. So now this is the California state standards. All right. And these are the videos that align with those standards. So you don't have to look up anything. All right. You know what you can show your kids. So within your lesson plan, you can embed this under the resources area within live text. So now you have the written lesson plan. You have what you're going to show them in a video. And this will help you become more creative in pretty much how can I do some hands on project based learning, which is a very effective tool. So for 30 bucks, I think this is very, this is something everybody should be purchasing. And when I did a dry run with the educators um, on Saturday in my class, they all thought this was phenomenal, especially the cost. 30 bucks, vice, spending $1,000 for your school, vice, 50 cent per student. They were like, and it's good for five years. So that's what I'm thinking. So everybody, that is pretty much my presentation, Live Text Beyond Brandman University. Um, it is not. It is by far not um, everything that Live Text has to offer. All right. And again, with this Learn 360, you know, I'm not telling you to spend the extra thirty dollars, but they do offer you if you go to the to the site a 30 day free day trial. So you know, take a look at it, do your 30 days, see if you could incorporate it with your Live Text account that you already have, and you know, if you think it's worth the thirty bucks, there's professional development money. That can be spent on that, so you're not really coming out of pocket. And for 30 bucks, I think it's worth the, the, the price. So does anyone, anyone have any questions or anything about this that I can uh, clarify for you? I, I'm good. Thank you very much, Ralph. That was great. Very informational. Thank you. All right, Jim, what do you, what do you got? Since you can't talk, just type it in. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I, I really appreciate that comment. That was awesome. Um, I guess learning from Dr. Green. She taught me all of this stuff. She taught me all the Wimba and all that. I just know how to talk smack. <laughs> I learned that in the military. <laughs> but thank you so much. Um, if there are no other questions, that's all I got for you guys. And uh, I really appreciate that you guys were here and, you know, the support. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.